Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do another episode of Rig It, which is basically uh, just a quick video on the way that I like to rig certain baits as they pertain to uh, categories of bass fishing lures that we may use uh, throughout the calendar year. And uh, since it's still pretty warm, I think throughout most of the country, you know, top water action is still pretty good. And a real favorite way of of mine to catch fish and I think a lot of people throughout the country is with a, a frog or a hollow bodied frog. One that doesn't get as much attention is the uh, Stanley or now known as the Frog Factory's Poppin' Toad. They actually have a regular one that's just a really regular top toad. This is the Poppin' Toad. The Poppin' Toad actually has a cupped type mouth so as it catches water and pops as it runs across the water and they're made out of soft plastic. They have a hollow body cavity right there and they have these ribbit style tails that uh, you know your Stanley and now Frog Factory are popular for. So, you know, it's just a real unique way to uh, fish uh, a bait like this because you have a couple things that are happening. You have the tails that are kicking, creating commotion, bubble trail, whatnot behind this pop and toad or top toad, but then you have the ability to pop because of the cupped mouth. Really, I wanna go over how I like to rig it, the way that I've had the most success fishing these types of baits. And uh, basically the Ribbit brand or Frog Factory brand has what they call a double take frog hook, as you can see right there. Really, this is uh, this is the hook or a hook like it, similar. And basically it has, it has that corkscrew right there and it's attached to the eye and that's going to go into the uh, nose of the bait and then this double frog hook like you would have for most of your hollow bodied uh, type frogs like a boom boom frog so the key is really to rig this hook with this bait in a manner that gives you the maximum amount of action but also gives you the ability to uh, hook and land more fish so we're going to go over that that process number one I try to go ahead and take that corkscrew like this where I can kind of have control of it. And then I want to get it as close to the center of the mouth as possible. And not only that, I want it lower. I don't want it up high because when you pull it, it's going to drop the nose down on this bait. You want it a little bit lower than middle way down the mouth, kind of right in here in this section here. And that'll give you the ability to really cup the water on the front of that. I'll go ahead and begin the process and then show you what I'm talking about. So you get it started and you just start with a corkscrew. You just start screwing that thing on there, that uh, top toad or popping toad in there. See, now I'll give you an idea for, for the direction of where that goes. So kind of in the center and a little bit lower than halfway. If you can see that right there. Maybe it's just a little bit more, like maybe a quarter of the way up or a quarter of the way below halfway. And then I don't, I don't screw it all the way flush with the eye. I give it a little bit of play so that bait can kind of free swing and hang. And then you're going to want to bring that bait up and behind those two hooks like this. So it kind of rides just like that. But if you're getting around lily pads and brush and reeds or anything that it can get hung up on, you're gonna wanna back that up, show you here, back that up and then stick that into those two. See if you can see right there, it's got that little section right there that actually is like a little shelf and those points can go right into that, creating a very weedless presentation. But at the same time, once you set the hook or the fish compresses the frog, boom, both of those hooks just come straight through a nice solid hook penetration because again, this bait is hollow right there or mostly hollow right there. And uh, it's really kind of a slick design setup for this type of a bait. And again, this is a bait that really, in my opinion, kind of flies under the radar. Really don't even want to talk about it much, but it is a bait that works really well and does catch fish. And I've noticed the fact that it creates a lot of 
uh, commotion on top with these legs, but also pops right here, throws really well, just really does what it's supposed to do. I feel like it's a great bait and a nice alternative to uh, some of your other hollow body type and even frog type uh, or toad type setups. But that's really the way that I like to rig that bait. It works really well, again, for its weedless characteristics or just make sure that you get it nice and straight both in that way put it on put the tips just barely put the tips into the ledge right there and you're good to go so that's your rig it series today for the uh, stanley top toad or pop and toad like i have here definitely offers uh, more commotion and it sits right up there on top just like your other hollow body so it's going to when you stop working it, it's going to sit right there on the top and, uh, and hang in the strike zone as long as you can stand it. So that's it for now, guys. That's your episode of Rig It. Hope you like this. If you got anything out of it, please drop a comment down below. And of course, I've got James Niggemeyer Fishing merch available at devilloriginals.com. If you're interested in any of that, whether it's decals, hats, hoodies, or a jersey replica, go over there and check that out. Thanks again for watching and until next time, good fishing.